You know, to be a very good magician or a member of the Biden administration, you need to be an expert at misdirection. Tonight's lesson plan does that pretty well. Cinematic class is about to begin and your professor is it. Greetings, salutations, another sundry affair. I am your cinematic professor and purveyor of truth in movies. And tonight's lesson plan is a film called 223 Wick. Okay. Now, as soon as you hear the title, Wick, and you know that the main character is Father John, <laughs> See what I mean about misdirection? You think, well, maybe because John Wick is so prominent, there'll be a lot of action and fighting, and yeah, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> that doesn't happen at all. This, this movie is so slow, it's like waiting for molasses to come from the tree into the little pail. It's just really that slow. And it's not helped by some dialogue that is so choppy and, and just not solid. We could uh, probably blame our writer for that. That would be Jess Bayard. Nah, not cutting it there, kiddo, on the old script. You know, this story is about, well, I think the main reason that director Sergio Myers made this movie was because he had a little bit of a... Uh, Thorn in his side from the Catholic religion, and he wanted to send priests to purgatory because that seems to be the big, we have these priests in purgatory. Type of thing. Wow, this is, ah, uh, wow. We have old Egyptian gods, specifically Horus, uh, coming back to, to plague the living. And uh, the, the special effects on this just, it's not, it's not very much up to snuff at all all. The writer was Jess Byard, as I said, the director Sergio Myers. The special effects were handled by Dave Hayward. I'm going to assume that he did the best he could with a very limited budget. Our director of photography was Eric Vaghat, and our editor was Patrick Castile. Uh, be nice for these guys to get a couple more movies under their belt and a little more experience, I think, to put this whole thing together. Father John is played by Alexei Stavro. His, uh, shall we say, nemesis in the seminary is Father Murphy, played by Jack Dimmich. And Kat is played by Don Lafferty. She is the uh, familiar, if you will, uh, to Horace, who tries to... Uh, Bring the old ancient Egyptian gods back into a power so they're not lost in obscurity for for all time. I know it's, it it could have had potential. It really could have, but two two three Wick turns out to be a real drag through the mud trying to get through it. And uh, once you do, it's not really you can't sit back and say, "Well, that was worth it." <laughs> For a varying opinion, let's peel back the veils of time. Back to the early Cretaceous period for the nation's first and only prehistoric film critic. Of course, that would be Rex Reeve. Uh, Rex has this one pretty much nailed down. It, it's really slow, folks, and uh, it's so slow that when you get to the end, it wasn't worth going through all that sludge to get to the ending that's that's there. So, there you have it. Two, two, three, Wick. They probably should have stayed away from all of the John Wick references and, and little hints because... <laughs> Apples and oranges, baby. <laughs> hey, don't forget about the Outtakes with Rex Real podcast. That's going to be coming your way real soon now. And we'll be able to do a lot of things on that that, uh, well, 
can't do on a lot of the social medias. We will be unleashed. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. And now that you have learned what you have learned, here it. Your lesson.